Hi, my name is Alice T. Chan from RealHousesOfTheBayArea.com and I am an interior renovation and design specialist helping busy homeowners throughout the San Francisco Bay Area design and manage their home I'm renovations. I'm that many of you live in a property that has at least one, if not upwards of six or seven bathrooms. And at some point, you're going to be considering some level of a bathroom makeover, and many of you probably are considering a full-blown renovation, meaning that you're gonna be starting from scratch, which is very exciting, but it can be daunting at the this same time. I am excited to share with you a new video series that I am doing called How to Renovate a Bathroom. Now, throughout the series, I am going to be sharing with you how to choose all the various materials involved in a typical bathroom renovation. Now, if there's something specific that you have a question about, please leave me a comment below and I will do my best to answer your questions or also let you know when I will be addressing those specific topics in a future video. Now, if you also have any friends or family that you know is considering a makeover or a bathroom renovation in the near future and you feel like they would benefit from this information, it would be fantastic if you would tag them in the comments below or share this information with them. Because remember, sharing Today's is video, caring. We are going to be talking about how to choose the finishes for your bathroom. Now, what am I talking about in terms of finishes? What I'm referring to is the metallic finish of all of the fixtures in your bathroom. So this could be on your sink faucet, it could be on the shower fixtures inside the shower stall, it could be on your robe hook or your tissue holder, even your towel bar. The good thing is we are in an era when people are embracing the idea of mixed metals, meaning that you don't have to have the same exact finish on everything in the space. People are actually liking a little bit of um, combinations. Now, when I'm saying mixed metals, I'm not saying let's go crazy and start putting a little bit of everything in the space. So you don't want to do a chrome, let's say faucet, and then maybe a brushed nickel shower fixture. And then we're going with an oil rubbed bronze towel holder. And then we have, you know, a black um, robe hook. Like we don't want it to look like you just have this showroom that showcases every single finish that's available. We want it to look cohesive and that really is the more popular trend. Most people do like to have all of the same finishes in the space, but I'm just letting you know that it's not a make it or break it if you were to throw in a little something that wasn't exactly the same. So for instance, if you had um, chrome mixed in with a little bit of brushed nickel, that's okay. Um, if you had black and you mixed it with chrome or polished nickel, that's a very beautiful combination as well. Another popular combination is when we used to try and downplay the brass in a lot of these 80s bathrooms, we would use a combination of a brass or a gold finish combined with chrome. So we're bringing in another element to kind of downplay what we didn't want to highlight, but we also wanted to still keep the space looking consistent because a lot of times we were not able to change out the fixture that's on the tub or inside the shower. But on our faucets, on the sinks, we were able to uh, bring in another element so that it still looked like it's still tied in, but it didn't look like a completely foreign element. So let's talk about finishes. We're gonna focus our attention on the most popular finishes. Because if you did your research, you'd find that there is a rainbow of finishes available now. But we're just gonna focus on the most common and the most popular ones. Starting with chrome. Everybody has probably lived in a space that had some level of chrome finish in their home. Chrome is the most popular. It also tends to be the least expensive. So that those are some of the pros. It's readily available. It's relatively inexpensive. It can pop against an otherwise kind of neutral or dull background. Now, the cons of it is that it is a mirror finish or any kind of polished finish tends to show more of the imperfections. So any kind of dirt or fingerprints or watermarks are going to show on a chrome finish. Next up is your brushed nickel. Also very, very popular and um, very sought after. So it is more of a matte finish versus the chrome. It so. A brushed nickel is when they take the metal and they actually use an abrasive to create that brush look, which takes away the shine. Now, this is very popular because unlike a chrome finish, it does not show fingerprints as easily. It doesn't show dirt marks as easily. So it's a little bit more 
um, practical. The con is it tends to be more expensive. So you're paying for that convenience. A close cousin to the brushed nickel is stainless steel. They look very similar. The difference is stainless steel tends to have a little bit more shine to it because it's a lacquer finish versus the brushed nickel. Like I said, it has the abrasions that take away the luster. And so it tends to give you a more matte finish. We use a combination of stainless steel and brushed nickels a lot of times, especially in kitchens, because you don't always have stainless steel finishes in all of the different elements, but you would have the brushed nickel, which still works very well together. And you wouldn't be able to know the difference if I didn't point it out. The next finish is called polished nickel, and this is my personal favorite. It's a beautiful warm finish that does have the high shine to it, so it is polished. What they do is they take the nickel and they plate it and then they polish it to give you that very shiny mirror finish again. But if you look at it, it's very warm and when you compare it to chrome, the polished nickel has kind of a golden undertone which gives it this very luxe high-end look. Fortunately, it also comes with a high-end price tag. So the pros is, is beautiful and the cons is that you're paying for that beauty. And on top of that, it also shows a lot of the dirt and the fingerprints and the watermarks because it is a high shine finish. Okay, on to oil rubbed bronze, which is a completely different look altogether. This tends to be used in a lot of old world design. So if you're going for more of a Mediterranean look and an old world European aesthetic, then oil rub bronze is the right finish for you. Now, the pros of this is it's usually a matte finish. There's a couple of different styles to it. I've seen the oil rub bronze where it's matte and it's all kind of a consistent bronzy color, so it's like a dark brown color. And then I've also seen the oil rub bronze where it's the dark brown and there's some highlights of gold in it. The pros, again, because it's matte, you don't see the fingerprints as much. Um, it's a little more um, low maintenance, so to speak, but Again, it's also a finish that's not as readily available. There's not as many options, and then the price tag tends to be a little bit higher. Next up is one of the most popular newer finishes, which is matte black. I love a matte black finish. I think it is beautiful. Now, it is more unique. It is a matte finish, so it comes with those benefits, but at the same time, because it is a dark finish, it does tend to show a lot of dust, so it's not low maintenance by any means. It's gonna show dust, and it tends to also show watermarks, depending on how hard the water is in your area, so it does require some um, attention. Now, it looks absolutely beautiful. It has that high contrast, especially if you're installing it in a white bathroom with the subway tiles or with the marble tiles. It looks gorgeous. It gives you this very Parisian, old New York flavor, which is very, very popular. Now, the cons, obviously, is because it's not as readily available, the price tags tend to be a little bit higher. It's harder to find all of the different elements for your bathroom. So if you needed a matching faucet and then shower fixtures and then getting the robe hooks and the tissue holders and the towel bars and all of those things, it may not be as easy to find exactly what you're looking for in the same exact style that you're looking for. Okay, last but not least, we have to talk about the gold finish. I know some of you guys are probably freaking out, but like it or not, brass is back. And it's not the 80s brass, it's actually a much more sophisticated looking gold finish. And it's all the rage right now. So I'm not saying it's for everyone, it's not, but it is a very pretty finish and it looks beautiful against wood finishes. It really takes that warmth from the wood and it adds that metallic and it just gives you a really nice luxe combination. The pros is that it's beautiful. It's out of the box. It's not what you will find in everybody's home. So if you wanted something that was a little more unique, this might be the right choice for you. The cons are it's going to be in a slightly higher price bracket, but it is a beautiful finish and you can mix it with your chrome. You can mix it with your polished nickel. It looks really pretty together. But the most important advice I can give you is be careful what you choose in terms of the gold finishes because I've seen a lot that looks really brassy and it looks cheap and it looks fake. When it's too gold, that cheap gold, that's not what you're going for. You want something that's warm and complimentary. So be careful because sometimes you get what you pay for. 
So how do you choose which finish to use? Well, it boils down to three different factors. And the number one factor is going to be budget. What's gonna fit within your budget? So my advice to you is to itemize everything that you're going to need in your bathroom renovation and price it out. Do a side-by-side -side comparison in let's say chrome, in the brushed nickel, and then maybe in the black. You know, you think black might be too much of a stretch for you, but let's see how that fits into your budget. And when you have those final numbers, you can decide, you know, is an extra $200 worth it to get the black that you really, really love and you've been dreaming about, or is it really more of a $500 difference and really that's just not worth it because for $500 you can buy a toilet, right? And then second is practicality. Are you a good housekeeper? Are you going to have the time to maintain the finishes that you choose in your home? Or are you realistically not going to be able to polish the chrome and the polished nickel so that it shines beautifully day after day? Maybe then a brushed nickel or a stainless steel finish is a better choice for you, even an oil or a bronze and a matte black. So think about those things when choosing. And then ultimately, what's gonna look best in your space? Okay, you gotta take a look at the overall picture, the entire aesthetic that you're going after. You know, choosing a finish way beforehand is not gonna give you the ultimate look that you're trying to achieve. So if you are going for that old world look, if you're going for that vintage quality, make sure that you choose the finish that best fits within that aesthetic. Now obviously, budget and practicality needs to be taken into consideration, but it's important to also look at the big picture. So that's everything I wanted to share with you today regarding how to choose the finish for your bathroom. I hope you found this information helpful. And if you know anyone that could benefit from this, please share it with them. And if you're not already subscribed, I invite you to subscribe to our channel because we are going to be providing a lot more content related to this particular series, How to Renovate a Bathroom. If you have questions, leave me a comment below. I'll do my best to answer it. And I hope that I will be able to answer more of your questions throughout this video series. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you again in our next video. Have a great day. Want to make sure that you have everything that you need for your next bathroom renovation? Visit us at howtorenovateabathroom.com to get your free materials checklist.